and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some sejuani swain gonna be our first deck today uh we got four pretty sweet decks today this one um is our only one that's not a donation deck i've put this one together uh, some people have been asking for you know what's maybe the best swain deck or just another way to play swain and of course swain sejuani is nothing new but it's something that you don't see very often right now, and I think it maybe needs to, um, you know, needs a retry, you know. So I'm kind of started from scratch instead of using like an old version. Start from scratch and put together what I think could be a good version of Swain Sejuani in the current metagame. I hope it is. Um, I've been very impressed with Death Lotus recently, and so we're going to be combining like our ways, basically our ways to level up Swain. Um, you know, doing the 12 non-combat damage. We're going to be combining Death Lotus and Avalanche, which I think Avalanche is actually another just really solid card right now. So combining those together also with Ember Maiden and just kind of going with the the sweeper effect of doing one damage to everything or two damage to, to everything. Um, so not focused on the units as much. Going to be going with that. And then Ravenous Flock should be pretty good to be able to pair with all of that stuff, right? You know, like all we have to do is do a little bit of damage with any of those things, and then Ravenous Flock is there. So we should be able to have leveled up Swains pretty fast. Now, a card that I've been really liking, or th that just looks really good with Swain and Sejuani is City Breaker, and I'm kind of all in on City Breaker these days. Um, played a couple of games with this deck before, you know, to like test out, and City Breaker is honestly an all star doing like. It's hard for us to level up Sejuani. You know, like we don't have, you know, besides just regular attacking, leveling up Sejuani is not super easy, but City Breaker really does that. The one to the enemy nexus each turn. And it's not something that the opponent is going to be usually prioritizes too much. And so this card gets gets us that leveled up Sejuani. And whenever we have a leveled up Swain or a leveled up Sejuani, both of them care about dealing damage to the enemy nexus, and therefore City Breaker is great with both of them. And of course, obviously Leviathan, right? Like Leviathan, like basically our deck is going to be winning um, with Leviathan, City Breaker, getting these in play with leveled up Swains and Sejuanis, because those those just have such combos. Of course, we know Leviathan with a leveled up Swain stuns three things. Well, if you have a City Breaker also in play, then you're stunning four things at the beginning of the turn, and that's just completely insane, you know, the four strongest things. Um, or, you know, if you have a leveled up Sejuani in play with those, you know, you can, like, stun three things and Frostbite all of their enemies. Like, you know, like, these four cards together are just amazing, and so, like, that's, that's really where the strength of our deck is. Um, and so, like, basically, besides that, we're just playing just interaction, trying to make the game go longer, and uh, get to the point where we are drawing those four cards and getting those those cards in play together, as many of them um, as possible. So that's what our deck's about. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. We should probably switch this up. Uh, I like Bloom Tooth. You can, you can, you can just chill. Uh, and we'll go with the Noxus card back. Okay. So Sejuani Swain. Here we go. Um, I'm not a big fan of Auroch Glinthorn in these kind of decks, to be honest. It, it, basically, uh, I've played a lot of Auroch Glinthorn before, because that's a card that a lot of people put in donation decks for, for these kind of decks, but it just never really does enough, in my opinion, that um, really merits its inclusion for, for six mana. It's so hard to actually get like the big payoff of having a bunch of things damaged and then and then attacking and stun them all and stuff like that. I could see keeping one death's hand <clears throat> basically for their three drops. I'll keep one. So death stands for the three drops, Jaw Hunters and um, uh, Dead Bloom Wanderer. Pulling Strike is of course for Maokai. So we have those two things covered. Destruction feeds my fire. And I haven't had pizza in like a week. Pizza's so good. It's probably my favorite food right there, pizza. Yeah. 
And there's the Dead Bloom Wanderer. So we got a Sejuani trigger on their turn, and now we'll have a Sejuani trigger on at this turn as well. So two out of five for Sejuani. Seven out of twelve for Swain. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Your cause is lost, Triant. Why fight? Because no one else will. Yeah. I got an extra two cards. I think I probably should have done the Culling Strike during combat. That was the card that punished me for not doing this during combat. They got an extra two cards. Yeah, I guess Miss Call is a thing. Okay, that's true. Miss Call is a, is a thing. Could have gotten missed, missed called. Um, I wonder how worried I should be about ruination. Like if I should, like if I play Sejuani, then they could ruination. That could be a big problem. Should I just patience is a tactician's greatest tool? I guess I just go to attacks, I guess. Witness strength. Lead for Noxus. Well it worked out. It was a it was kind of a poor plan against vengeance, right? Like if they had if they just had vengeance instead of ruination. Lost, that would have one been one. a poor plan. Because no one else will. <laughs> Ruination's played by my opponent sucks my soul. Yeah, it's always a tough one. Those ruinations. Yeah, this game has been basically only champs. They've had a couple of Maokais. I've had a Swain and a Sejuani. There's a third Maokai. That was just three mana. Um, toss three. So obviously I want to play Leviathan, but we do need to be worried about... Boot. Ruination. Now we don't. We can take a hit for three from them, or even six. That's okay. I'd rather, you know, like, we could prevent that with the harsh winds, but I think it's more important to get Leviathan in play. First one. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. Last game. <laughs> All right, Moonlight. Yes, go have fun in Montana. Thanks for stopping by. tough matchup just because 
their deck is their deck's a little better than ours, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to try. Um, I'm going to keep all these. I'm not sure about Death Lotus. You know, basically we kind of we we're going to be the control deck, try to set up our Fantastic Four. There's one. Not the four. Victory requires a sharp blade. Took the bait. I'm through waiting. Yeah, Trifarian Assessor is quite busted. here but I don't think I'm at the, the point where I have like my seven mana available that if I just say pass they just say pass also and basically just save their mana anyway and don't even waste it and I waste all of mine and then they can go to attacks with this you know they can go straight to attacks with that still see far. and it's just a mess to deal with this. So I think I'm going to... My plan is playing that and playing Ravenous Flock. To kill the 5 3, the 3 1s just trade. On the trade. They should have another. Dance in the flames. They should they should have the one mana 5 5 by now. Alright, Swain's leveled up. It was right on my tail! Take that thing out. They walked around. Okay. I need just a moment. Sejuani still good? So if I play Avalanche, we would kill that thing, and then our 3-3 can trade with one of the 5-5s. Five um, I don't know. They have all that mana. I'm going to pass. Let's see what they do. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Ugh. Oh, 
I wanted to get another thing with the Avalanche, but obviously that was not the ideal card to get. Trifarian Assessor still busted. Yeah, if they didn't draw the three cards with the Trifarian Assessor, this would be a lot closer. Three cards is a lot of cards. So that, is that four? Okay, so that's four. The Death's Hand could be five. I think Harsh Winds is probably the most important thing for this turn. So I'm not, you know, instead of playing Leviathan. I, mean, I guess I'd have a Le Leviathan plus Death's Hand. That's not bad, but I, I really want the Harsh Winds. Yeah, there's another three cards. These things are so cheap too, you know, like like that's, that's what makes this deck so good. Like they, they just put all this power into play and they haven't even um They haven't really done much. Well that works. Oh wow, they surrendered! <laughs> Harsh wins. Get it done. Harsh wins is just a great card. Just a great card. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. They even drew six drew six extra cards. Couldn't handle it. Hey, Rast Spirit with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Rast Spirit. Let's get some hype votes in the chat for that Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, the opponent just, just surrendered because, I don't know, we were going to kill two of their things, right? Like, two of their things were going to die to their Reckoning, and then they weren't going to be able to attack right there. Um, and so they were sad, so they surrendered. And I was happy. All right, I'll give this a try. This is much less controlly than the last one. Fortunately, we got to face the same matchup again. I don't, I don't know if we'll get as lucky again, but you know, you never know. We'll give it a shot. the best place to play Ember Maiden. I'll start leveling up my Swain. Safe 
guard our homes. Darn. Hoping they block it for three three quarters. Let the flames take you. So we just dealt, you know, that could have been six out of twelve instead of four out of twelve. If I didn't make the attack. But if they would have blocked it to three three, that could have been uh really nice. Will no one listen? Poor man's gone mad. So I can't really, I couldn't play like the 3-2 before combat because then they could just pass the turn. Cool. Definitely glad no calling strike. Worry about calling strike. Put Elixir of Iron and protect the Ember Maiden. I'd rather just save that to protect the Swain and Bane. Yeah, I don't love Triple Leviathan. And I was hoping I was hoping that, that was gonna I guess the I guess the Swain wasn't leveled up yet. I was hoping that was gonna stun. I guess the Swain's not leveled up. Um Yeah, if we could get three Leviathans on in play, that'd be pretty crazy. We obviously do not want to draw a Swain, right? Because we, we should be getting free at Swains. We don't want to draw a Swain. Um, man, now I wish I would have saved the 3-1. Now I wish I would have saved that. To call themselves Trifarian. Uh, Arian Assessor still busted. Need to draw like harsh winds. I lose to Battle Fury. 
or Fury of the North, I mean. This is my best possible play if they have no way to pump health. But it's... I mean, it's it's not exactly safe, but I don't really have a safe play. I'm, I'm just going for my best possible play. Well, if it wasn't for all these decimates, we'd have a chance. If it wasn't for all those decimates. This is not the end. Trifarian Assessor is super busted. against a different matchup that's good our twins you've been nice last game it was just pretty rough having Swain on five but then like we really didn't have a good turn six or turn seven because we had triple Leviathan and so you know like we were just basically went from Swain on five to just kind of try to do something turn six or turn seven you know to just wait for wait for leviathan on eight and against that deck you can't really do that because their turn six and turn sevens are just incredible um those aren't the best things to be blocking there you are Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. It is the dream. Attack on turn three with Blighty Caretaker. That is certainly the dream. Really, Death Lotus? Couldn't have had you last turn? Uh, you've been great last turn. You're a little, a little late here, Death Lotus. Great hand. I mean, it's a Wraith Crawler turn four. Like, Aristocrat one, Curse Keeper two, Blight Caretaker three, Wraith Crawler four, Thresh five. Best hand I've ever seen. Gonna have to just harsh winds just to save some life. It's obviously not what we want to be doing. Don't really have another choice. Hey Nakano. So they pass priority to me. Is it possible that just end not doing this and ending the turn would be better? It's 
certainly possible, right? The calm before the storm. I'm not sure. Should I just end the turn? Not do this and then let them play a couple other things afterwards. So I can handle this. It's in play right now. If they go straight to combat, that is. Born for conquest. No, I'll do this. I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to just end the turn. Probably should have just ended the turn. I really wish I could play Fury of the North and Death Lotus and Death Lotus, you know, like all of those. Like I need the I need the Fury of the North. Also. Um, I guess. I guess I'm only taking five. Block here, go with this and this. If I could go Fury of the North also, we put it on the City Breaker, block the Hecarim, be able to kill the Hecarim too. That Thresh was at 5 out of 6. That was close. I refuse. Does death follow me for peace? So now, what do I do? Guess it's The biggest thing I'm worried about is Rekindler. If I kill Hecarim, I'm worried about Rekindler. But I have to kill Hecarim. Leave them nothing. Nice to be able to play City Breaker also. Really, Trapper? Couldn't have you last turn? Or I could have actually cast you last turn? I guess I need to frost by one of these things. It doesn't matter. Game. Yeah, that was just an absolutely spectacular hand these from them. Only make us stronger. With a slower deck like we have, like if they have, you know, they have just the absolute perfect first six turns. You know, turn one, hapless aristocrat. Turn two, curse keeper. Turn three, kill the curse keeper with a blighted caretaker and attack. You'll have the, the turn three attack. Turn four, Wraith Caller, get a Mist Wraith. Turn, turn five, Thresh, attack. Again, like that attack token with the Thresh there. And then turn six, Hecarim. <laughs> that is absolutely perfect for six turns. So, GG's, they win. Um, I, 
I think we'd be just fine in that matchup over a long period of time. It's just, you know, we're not, like, they, they won that one. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan Swain also. Just mulligan a couple of more expensive cards. Uh, this Ravenous Flock isn't looking so good. Hopefully, like, I'd love to find Avalanche. It's probably the card that I want more than any other card is Avalanche. Okay, we can we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Smell that? A bite to cook it. Really? You have a 9-1 record against Ash Sejuani with that previous deck that we just saw? That is a very good record. is a very good record. The trap is set. Oh, not that one? A different different deck? Well, the ephemeral midrange that we're about to play is basically all... Oh, wow. Bark Beast? Man, why didn't I play Ember Maiden? Oh, man, I wish I played Ember Maiden now. Pretty rough. Head to the base, eat up, friend. Over there. If I cast Calling Strike on the 3-3, basically all it does is kill the Bark Beast as well. I could instead cast Calling Strike like on like the 3-2 the or the 2-3 to keep me from taking the damage. I think we should do that. We'll just cast it on the three. So soon. Fire knows its own. So yeah, we have Fervor could take down a misfortune also now. Um We have ways to heal. I mean, we have we have a couple of elixir of irons that we could use to heal Ember Maiden. You said we have no way to heal Ember Maiden. We have a, we have a couple of ways. Cold. Yeah, Ember Maiden does a, a really good job of helping out your Ravenous Flock and leveling up both of these cards, Sejuani and Swain. This? Nexus heal. I mean, yeah, Embermain doesn't get that many triggers. Like, it will usually do one, maybe two. 
I really hope they don't have the Rangers resolve and give their things tough. Okay, good. Here we go. These old eyes still see far and clear. Okay, not too bad. This is where we need to draw our champions and Leviathan. But we did a, a good job. There's Leviathan. Did a good job minimizing it damage. Hey, Blubsters. Hey, Ivad. What's up, y'all? I am doing good. I'm doing good. I'm feeling pretty good today. Slow down, will you? I could slow down a little bit. Let me just have these. Hot damn is the boss. You best start running. Just have these noxion fervors go upstairs. I don't know, like they're Here we go. Getting lots get of damage in there. Look out for Reavers. Now I should probably start killing these things. Potato, good morning. It'd be a good draw if I had mana. Oh. Another four power for three mana. Alright, down to four. I don't. I'm surprised Quinn isn't attacking. I guess they really care about Quinn leveling up. Um, oh, dang. That was pretty great. We got 33 out of 12. No, I don't, little thing. Surrender. The kingdom must be. Die, condescending Noxian. Croak if you work, burn if you Petty go. officers were amazing. They got good one drops too. Bark Beast, Hapless Aristocrat. Yeah, those petty officers were great. Change <sighs> or perish. Oh, Got to attack. You picked the losing side. Doesn't make a lot of sense to attack with the five five and just let them block with the hapless aristocrats. Oh, come on. Come on, you big grouch. That is a man. Grizzled Ranger is too good. That's 
That's a horrible card for us to see because that's going to level up the Quinn. Oh, okay, they're not just level up the Quinn. Okay, well, that's better. Alright, so you can block there. You can block there. You lack discipline. Block. Here. And then we'll have you do damage to this. And we take three. Go down to one. Obviously, we're not out of the wood woodwork yet. It's a nice top deck, the third single combat. Wait, why is the Noxion Fervor still killing? The Enraged Yeti. Because if these fight, this should just be dead, so there should be no target for the Noxion Fervor, right? It still does the damage? That's a bummer. I should keep it alive, right? Sacrifices must be made. Was the worst draw in the deck. Carved from the savage cold. The literal worst draw in the deck. <laughs> I guess Ember Maiden I is kind of the worst draw. Oh, cool! They just draw their their awesome champion. That's good. That must be nice. Their two top deck draws were single combat, like their best removal spell, and Only then. The strong their best champion, Quinn. Those are their two top deck draws, and I drew worst card in my deck. Ugh. We had a chance if we, you know, like our leveled up Sejuani, so you know, we draw like a, um, like a card that does damage to them at, at fast speed, the uh, the three mana removal spell. Be able to frostbite. They got very lucky there. They left me alive. That was a mistake. I got very, very lucky. I'm not one to complain too much. That was a game that we really should have won. Um, but just you know, like the grizzle, like they just had some some real luck there at the end with the last three cards being the Grizzled Ranger, which is perfect. Then single combat, and then Quinn. Um, I don't think our deck was very bad. I know that's the thing about like just these kind of records. We went two and three those last two games. I think that I would be very comfortable playing those a long time and I think that we'd have a very good record. I think that we would have a really good record against that deck that we just played over the long haul. We just ended up losing that one. Um, you know, like that that's a match like where Avalanche just dominates. If you ever draw Avalanche, Death Lotus would have done a lot for us too. Um, um, you think City Breaker lost us that game? Don't necessarily agree. Obviously, City Breaker isn't as good against units that can challenge and so that was a that was a hindrance that how it could challenge that hurt but it's the only reason why we had a leveled up sejuani towards the end or anywhere close to a leveled up sejuani yeah i mean i i think we had a chance even with the city breaker i think that they had to have all those things work out for them to win the game 
Um, you know, if we had one little thing work out for us, I'd, I think we would have been fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think the deck's just fine. I, I do. I just think that we lost two games that we wouldn't normally lose. I I am not ready to throw away City Breaker. I'm happy with the card, but um, you know, short sample, you know, small sample. We ended up being at two and three. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to try the deck out and let me know how it goes for you over there. I always like hearing um, that kind of information and uh, you know, getting more feedback on the decks. Um, but anyway, uh, that's it here for Sejuani Swain. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.